Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and now I'm going to show you how to set up your Epson 7700 as a network printer on your Windows based computer. First thing you're going to need is going to be the driver. Now you can get the driver from the CD that came with the printer, or you can download it from Epson's website. Once you have the driver, we're going to run it. You're going to click unzip. And when it finishes copying files, hit OK. Now if you have the CD that came with the printer, it's automatically going to go into this. You don't have to worry about zipping files. Once it gets to the detect point, I'm going to select manual. And for now I'm going to install this to LPT1 and hit OK. I'm going to tell the program to continue. the driver will start to copy the files it needs to install the printer. Now sometimes during these installs, you get a long pause where it looks like it's not doing anything. It actually is. Um, with these driver installs, if it's going to fail, you're either going to get error, an error message or the program will continue until it actually tells you what to do next. In any case, just wait for the program. And here we finished with the driver install, so I'm going to hit OK. And the next I'm going to go into my printers and faxes. I'm going to find the Epson Stylus Pro 7700, right click on it and go to Properties. And I'm going to come over to the Ports tab. Here I'm going to add a port. I'm going to select Standard TCP I port and hit New Port. Next. And then I'm going to put in the IP address that I have programmed on my printer. Hit Next here. wrong IP address. Hit next here. Now Windows will go out, actually communicate with the printer, and then come back to you. I don't actually have the printer here and turned on, so I'm, actually, I'm getting this message because it can't talk to it. I'm just going to hit next and finish and close. It's still going to map the port, and at this point if I were to connect the printer, with that IP address, the driver would work. It would print directly to the printer. The only thing left to do now, once you close this, is configure your driver and your application for sublimation. Um, for this, you can consult with condytv.com. We'll show you the videos and show how to configure there. If you have any problems or questions with this or anything else we sell at Condi, please give us a call at 1-800-226-6332, option 2, or send us an email to support at condy.com.